this one did. Um, and also then I went to hear Margaret Wrinkle and they called her a naturalist. And I, she really, she really is, but she's so upset <laughs> about the climate change, about climate, global mm -hmm. climate change. And um, the birds, all the birds we found out were missing a couple of weeks ago. A lot of people already knew about that, I guess, but mm -hmm. many of us were new. So the end of, I don't think you need to know anything, the end of this poem kind of hints towards the mutations that some biologists or some naturalists are seeing out there. Theodicy is the name of this poem, and theodicy is basically the, like, judging God, the judgment against God in some ways. And the epigraph is from Barbara Kruger, an image text artist. Um, <laughs> This is one of her quotes from, she makes these big black and white and red artworks. It's a small world, but not if you have to clean it. <laughs> the, the Odyssey. Oh, and this is about when the, um, when the oil rig out in the Gulf of Mexico blew up and all that summer I was just fraught. I mean, every day there was film of the oil that was just bubbling up a mile deep, I think. Hmm. Out in the ruined Gulf of Mexico, a live feed records the worst we can do to ourselves. No plague of biblical proportion ever came close to this mess. Watch the visage of the violence, the damaged brown pelicans, black slick hermit crabs and sandpipers, mangrove roots and sawgrass smothering in oil. You take in vain again the names, God and good Lord, and the desperate worst of all, Jesus Christ. There's no evidence any omnipotent being so much as eavesdrops. Like oil and water, your mother used to say about your brother and you, exempting herself like a wise Old Testament king backing out of the catastrophe. You can't remember which of you drew first blood, crying over tooth marks on your knuckles. Who saw and thought your brother sank his baby teeth into your hand? who saw and thought instead that you had bashed him in the mouth. In every Cain and Abel death match of blame, only impotence is unimpeachable. Keep yourself out of the fray. There's nothing left to hold against the love that used to turn a different world or justify the rage that can't leave well enough alone in all this dark. You can't do a thing to staunch the gulf's floor, bloodletting a mile down in freezing pressurized black the most urgent voice the planet can muster. Let the saviors be, one foolish human at a time will wash one gull at a time, one heron, cradle and redeem some big winged creature. Every last one is sent back to be sullied all over again. Every last one of us stranded like white bears in a faraway melting land, blinded like sheep on the steppes of Patagonia, toxic and damaged corrupted like spring peepers waddling forward, bright-eyed on five legs. Mm. Oof. <laughs>